welcome back to Panty of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing video of Carnival, eh? Shiny, shiny, that's right. Reflections of the camera and everything. We'll get this cellophane off. It's the Strigori Dracula's Host. Ooh! We'll have to go shiny on the so the box crossed on. Aha! That's a bit better. There we go, so there's the artwork. Oh, <clears throat> I do like the artwork. Mm. It's very cool. I do like the little boxy, actually. Yeah, I didn't know how they were going to come. I thought these were going to come as single part models. Mm. And then um, when I was looking at the price, I was thinking like, oh, these are characters, they're going to be like ten or a piece or whatever. But then you get like 20, I think the 22 English pounds for the whole set. Mm. So that's pretty good. That And that's from the website. Um, and that's basically, this is a box of characters because you've got one leader and the rest are heroes. Um, so... This uh, and so this isn't a legal gang, by the way, guys. Just so you know, if you if you think this is a cool box, if you're gonna get Strigori, you have to get this box and you have to get the starter box that we've already done, or find yourself um, a henchman for each of the heroes uh, separately later on whenever they come out. But your best bet is just to buy the other starter set because you get enough in there basically to to have a massive force with Dracula. In. Um, so. Without further ado, we're gilding the lily. Let's uh, open this bad boy up. Cross everything. Right. We have bases. Many bases? Many bases. We have bases. We have one, two, three, four, many. <clears throat> There's not many models, but also. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. Right, let's make sure we've got everything. So we've got one of the brides there. We've got one of the brides there. We've got <coughs> one of the brides there. Is that a leg of a bride? Or is that a leg of Dracula? That's a leg of Dracula. There's a film tile for you. Leg of Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have the Strigori priest. We have a hand there, randomly. Um, let's have a look. That is with her. That's Dracula. That's his huge axe. That's her. There's a lot of things on some of these. Uh, that's the Strigori, I believe. That's his arms by the looks of it. <coughs> so I assume everything else is hers. I'm assuming. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, some spares. No, oh, that's not too bad. That'd be useful actually. So some spare bases. <coughs> um, right, so as with all resin, <coughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna soak these. I'm gonna clip them off the sprues, soak them in some I think if they feel a bit, yeah, I'm going to soak them anyway in some soapy water uh, just to wash off any leftover liquids or parts of the uh, mould. I'll be cut off all these little non essential parts, all this extra stuff, which is nowhere near the same amount that you get on like Ford World stuff. And then I'm going to bend anything like this back into shape using hot water. And pull it back and shape. What I also might do as well, I'm off the camera, is do some filling of the bases to get the, the uh, cobblestone effect ready. So when we come back, we're ready <coughs> just to uh, put this together. And so, right. So we shall see you in a moment, a few moments. It'll take a little while for me to do all that. See you, see you soon. Okay, so we're back. Um, right, so we're taking. Most of the stuff off the sprues, I left this on because these are tiny and I don't want to lose them in the water. There's a bit, literally, on this we've got her, um, the flower that's in her hair and I thought that was a bit of flash on there, that little bit sticking up. It's not, that's actually like a pin sticking it into her hair. So, good thing I didn't cut it off. And that's her hair in the next one, like a little flick of hair or a hair <laughs> flick if you will. Um, and so that's 
where I left that one on the sprue in this one, I think it's a necklace or can I see where it's hanging down from? I think it's a necklace. Um, there you go. Okay, so very well detailed. However, I do have some issues with some of the resin. There are, I don't know if you can see it on like the bottom of Vlad's cloak. It's the clearest of the air bubbles. But there are air pockets everywhere. Now this really light white plastic is okay. Um, this one is about as nearest to the plastic colour from the original box set. And there was a little line on a leg, I think you can still see it there. I might have to do a bit more filing down of that. Other than that, that one's good. Okay, but again, we have this slightly not as white as Vlad colour, which all this is made from. Apart from those arms, that's the same colour as Vlad for some reason. Now he's got tons of air pockets in. They're mostly surface, under the surface stuff, which can be easily filled. Most of it. Mostly. However, one of these, I didn't even wash this bit because one of the sides of this is just air pocket with a tiniest little bit on there. I don't know if you can see it on there. And then we have this one, which is the darker resin. Well, it's not actually quite as dark as, uh, if you remember the video I did with the starter set, this guy's like really dark grey, almost like plastic grey from like Games Workshop sort of plastic grey. This guy's not quite as dark as he was, but he's on his way to being there. So I don't know what resin process they're using or what multiple resin process they're using, but this is the nearest. <laughs> TT Combat, if, you, if you're watching. This, somewhere between this and this, this is your golden colour, or grey colour, that you're looking for. Everything else, just leave. Okay. Whatever you did with the starter set was great. Do that. I imagine what these are though, is it like stuff left over from Kickstarter maybe or something, the first boxes that they had, mm. I don't know, I don't know, when they were still trying to perfect it. I'm hoping we'll see a uniform colour soon of just like one colour and it is not got any air pockets in it and isn't quite as brittle as this one. This is the worst, you were the worst, <laughs> just so you know. Okay, all that said, the detailing's still very nice on them. And any of the holes in there, I can pretty much, I'm pretty much convinced I can fill. So, did I miss that bit? I missed that bit. That's right, fine. Just cut that off. Right. So, sticking these guys together. Uh, I'll start from this side with the easiest. The priest, literally, two arms. They're going on. Job done. Okay. That's the priest. Then we have this this one now. Still talking about things. This one is the only one that's got its moulding slightly out. I hope you can see that on the head. I'm gonna have to cover that with green stuff to make that look right. Now this is again this colour of plastic. It's about the same as the Fallout stuff was, mm. with the same kind of flaws. So whatever you've done, don't do this. Uh, and you see, there's an air socket there. That one's not too bad because it's round the hip and this should cover it. But anyway, those two parts are going to go together. Her arm sockets into there. She is the owner of this random hand, which was in the box. Not if you saw it, it's titchy. A lot of these parts are minuscule. Okay. Puts Yolan's beard to shame. Literally. Um, so, that hand fits onto this arm, which is sort of pointing down. She's sort of like, she did not stance. You see that? And you can just make out that necklace hanging down where she is. So she's got one arm back and then this necklace hanging down. And again, I won't cut that off till you're ready to, to glue that into place. And I probably. Ooh, is it worth gluing into place before putting. Oh, I don't know. It's a difficult one. Because it's got to go underneath the neck there. Once you've got that on, it's going to be a booger to get into place without tweezers. I've got tweezers. Um, I'm thinking mm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on last because I need to get it positioned right behind that leg. So that's her. Right. Moving on to the. These are probably the two most complicated models that one and this one. It's probably the worst. 
but not too bad on air holes. A few little bits though. So we've got leg which goes in there seductively. Then we have that arm and the other arm. And then we have, as I said before, the hair bun with pin and the flick of hair. Now let's have a look at her. Hopefully you see what I mean. You've got this hair bun at the back and this flick of hair that goes at the front. Other than that, that's her done. Then it gets a bit easier because we've got the final bride. who use literally two arms, much like the priest. And then this front bit goes on though. Then we have Dracula himself, who we add his leg in. The knife goes down there, not so far from his hand, just on his belt. There's a little groove. I don't know if you can see that on that little hole. That's actually for the knife. I thought it was another air hole. It isn't. That's actually where the knife goes. And then over the top, we have the little whatever tabardy thing it is. What are they called? Those like tabard. Is it a tabard? Mm. Poncho. Captain. Captain. Oh, no. It's a different outfit, guys. If you haven't seen it, it's not funny. <laughs> Uh, and then we have his massive halberd, who was a bugger just to get to this, because every time we move one bit, the other side would fall out of place. Uh, if only they had Viagra back in Venice. Right. Okay, so. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and stick these guys together, as I've said, it's, and then I'm going to put them on the bases, and then I'll be back. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it all goes well, and then... If there's any issues, I'll be back in between, or I'll mention them at the end. See you guys in a moment. Alright guys, so we're done. That was fiddly. Right, <laughs> okay. Start with the Strigori Priest. There he is. Easiest to put together, by far. I'll actually do them in, in how easy they were. Okay, so he was the easiest. Two arms, body, on the base. Job done. Then I would say it was her. Still pretty easy. Put the front bit on. She's cool, I like her actually. Right. Next easiest. Actually it was this one. Because I stuck stuck the two parts of the body together and I tweezered the necklace into place. Went together no problem. Hand went on, arm went on, onto base. What next? I'd say her. The last one I did. Fiddly. That piece of hair at the front. And that. Fiddly. But. Easy to get to. Because it's a head. And it's prominent. And there's nothing in the way. So. Not too bad. Actually. In the long run. Dracula. Thought would be one of the easiest. Legs, tabard, even the halberd, all on. Put the dagger on first, then it fell off. Then I stuck it back on again. Then it fell off again. And I spent ages with the tweezers trying to get that sodding dagger into the right place. And this arm is just in the way from allowing you to just get it into the socket because it's that tiny little socket. Spent friggin' ages on a dagger. After all, I thought these these two were going to be really hard, um, it's it worked. It went on straight away. But <laughs> dagger was annoying as hell. But a lot of small parts in this kit. Okay, some air holes that need to be filled. I still have. I'm going to have to fill the bit on her hair. I'm going to fill that little hole on the back. I've got a couple of air holes here and there to fill. I'm not going to take too much to fill. Shouldn't take too much work to to cover up. The slight miscasts are not as bad as the miscasts on the Fallout stuff. Mm. Nowhere near that bad. That was bad. It's one of the reasons it's put me off getting more until I've had a good look at them. I'm, honestly, I, I want to see if they've improved the casting before I really invest any more in Fallout. I do like the game, don't get me wrong. Yeah, and well. I like the models I've got. And I've made do in a lot of places, but they're expensive. They're more expensive than these yeah. per model. Yeah, actually. And the quality's not there. Anyway, that is Dracula's host. I've seen some cool tactics for this on TT Combat on the community site. Been looking at it. Whereas mixing the two, as I said right at the beginning, mixing the, the two sets so far, the starter set and this set together, gives you quite a few little options on what you can do. 
Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to painting these guys. Uh, as soon as I saw Dracula, Dracula was the reason I went, I'm going to the Strig Strigori set. Mm -hmm. When we were picking which factions we were going for, you went Vatican. Yeah. That. And I was like, oh, vampires, that's cool. I quite like vampires. Dracula's in it. All right. And then I read a bit about him because there's a different version of Dracula, obviously. This is a cool version. He's a complete self centered dude. <laughs> and he said something else. Anyway, so that's cool. And um, so we should see him on the battlefield. See, I like playing the bad guys because if I lose, I don't feel quite as bad because <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bad guys lost. I meant to. Oh well, job done. Right, so everyone's bad in. Exactly, in I was going to say, I don't even think the Vatican's that good, to be quite yeah, honest. It's not like. a bit evil. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Everyone's got a, a dark side to them. There's no real good side. Yeah, they, that, they're all pretty obvious dark sides, I think, yeah. in Carnival. But I think, I don't know, is it more evil? Well, at least he's honest, you know. Well, yeah. He's, he's not he's hiding honest. who he is. No. Give him that. Right, okay. So that is the um, Strigori Dracul Dracula. Dracula. Can't speak now. I've already said his Dracula. name. I've used my quarter of saying his name. <laughs> well, it's his host anyway, so that's cool. A lot of points in there. These are 22 points each. Dracula's 30. I can't remember how much he is. He's about 15 or something. He's in the teens. So a lot of points there. But as I said, these are all heroes. So you'd need henchmen to back them up. Or, you know, have Dracula, one of the brides... I think in the example he gave in online, I think it was a neophyte and a common vampire, or a neophyte mm. with a thrall with a crossbow. That was it. So, uh, but there's lots of options, and I like it. I, I hope they keep doing these box sets. They're around the same price, regardless of whether the character models are not. This is great. I was expecting to have to pay like 10 quid for each of these. Mm. I'm, I'm still on game work, Games Workshop's price list. You know where it costs. Yeah, where you've got a, a blister, yeah. so you'd have a blister of. It's, it's like the Atalon Jackals. It's like yeah. thirty-two pound for four bikes, and a quad bike, or twenty-two for one bike. Yeah. With a sniper gun, it's like so you're not basing your pricing on the amount of materials there, right? No, you're basing obvious. it on what. They it's are. never been obvious. It's never. It's never been that we're going to worship. They always price it, however they feel they're going to sell it. Mm. But this feels like it's been priced on amount of materials and I like that um, I'm, I'm well up for that even though the quality is not quite there to be perfect I think they are the, crying aren't they really they're very nice models I'd, I'd, I'd rate them above I mean they're different though if they were if they were all that stuff <coughs> from the starter set they'd be like well that's top notch mm. but because there's such a variance between top notch and whoa and, and knocking her over. At least you know it's glued together if you do that. <laughs> pull apart. Anyway, I've spoken enough. That's the end of this video. In the next video, we'll be unboxing Claire's Vatican, new new Vatican, new Vatican. the new starter set, which is a starter set on its own, and dice. She got some dice. She got some dice. I wasn't allowed any dice. So he, he was. He just didn't order himself any. No, that's true. I forgot. Yeah, my fault. Next time. Next time. Right, ne guys. Next order. So we'll see you in the next video for the Vatican. Please like and subscribe. It helps out loads. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. See you soon. Bye for now.